Hello everyone, this is Brittany and you're at the Google Hangout with Allie. Hi, um, this is just an opportunity for you to listen in on some of the questions we've been having. Um, so first of all, I would like Allie to talk a little bit about herself. Yes, I can do that. Um, I was an EBIT graduate, I graduated a year ago and I've gotten job applications from it, I've gotten connections from it. I got a scholarship to the school of my dreams because of it and that's the only reason I can go to my college is mm -hmm. because EBIT, going to EBIT provided me with that scholarship and um, I was in the radio broadcasting program as you can probably tell I'm really loud and like I smile a lot even though no one in radio knows when you're smiling but I did smile a lot and I went to Hamilton High School for four years, graduated and I went to EBIT my junior and senior year. Um, I was <coughs> Okay. Yeah, all right. I was in the PM class and um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the teachers mean a lot to me and from that I've kind of grown and started a YouTube channel where I do DIYs, celebrity gossip, talking about and like a thing where I just kind of like rant or I do a random segment every week it's different and I post every Wednesday and so I've kind of gone from radio broadcasting to my own sort of TV broadcasting and it's just a way to kind of put my career in my own hands and I just feel so thankful to have gone to EBIT, who has provided me with the confidence to do this myself and the knowledge on how to do it. And even with connections that if I know I have something and I want to go somewhere with it, that my old teacher or principal or someone can give me a phone number to call someone who can help me move my career along. And that's all because of EBIT. So we're here today at the school hangout because we want to make you feel as comfortable as I did on my first day. So we have some questions that we are going to answer. Mm -hmm. And... And the first question is, yes. when is the first day of school? August 3rd. It's Monday. Your first day of school is Monday. Don't fret. It's going to be okay. I know it sounds like it's coming up soon, but you can still sleep. Get your sleep in this weekend. Again, the first day of school is Monday, August 3rd. And if you're wondering what time your class is at, um, there's two sessions. So if you signed up for the AM sessions, that's 8.05 to 10.35. The PM session is 12.05 to 2.35. With the exception, cosmetology, you're investing um, some more time mm -hmm. in EVIT, and that's going to be AM 7 to 11, and then PM 12 to 4. But it's so worth it. You graduate with your cosmetology yeah. license, yes, and yeah. I have a friend who graduated and has her mm -hmm. license, and she cuts my hair. It's yeah. pretty great. Yeah, <laughs> another question was, where is my class? Well, we have two campuses, mm -hmm. so you should know which campus you're going to, main or east. Once you get there, EVIT staff will be on deck, on campus, yes. throughout the campus, <laughs> ready to show you where your classroom is. So don't worry. Just um, get here to whatever campus you are supposed to be in, and uh, we'll be here to help you find your yeah. class. Yes, we'll find your class yeah. for you. You can shake the hand of anyone in a purple shirt or anything that says EVIT. They'll be happy to help you. And if you don't know what to bring to school on your first day, it is super easy. <laughs> a smile. smile. <laughs> yeah, a smile, a pen, a piece of paper. We just want you to know that on the first day of school, if you feel like you're totally unprepared, first of all, you're not. And second of all, everyone else feels that way. Mm -hmm. um, you just need a piece of pen or a pen and a piece of paper to write down what you need for the second day of school. But all your teachers expect of you on the first day is for you to show up with a great yeah. attitude and be ready to learn. Yeah, definitely. And if you are going to be um, riding the buses, mm -hmm. they uh, just drop off right in front of the school. Yeah. So again, find an EVIT staff member, they'll take you to your class. Now, if you want to get on the bus to get here, they actually pick up at your high school. So yes. get with your high school to find out where um, they are. the buses will be to get on the bus, where they drop off, uh -huh. all that good sorts, uh, sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, your bus will pick yeah. you up at your school and mm -hmm. drop you back off at your school. So that's great. If you have mm -hmm. a car parked at your high school, you can keep it there and take the bus or your parents can pick you up from school. Um, it's mm -hmm. a great transportation. Yeah, um, and then another thing parking permits if you are driving to EVIT we have parking permits yes. for you and they are for free I know that's crazy Whoa, cool. I've never had a free so. parking thing except for you <laughs> yes they are for free you just have to fill out the proper form we do look at some of your information like your driver's license mm -hmm. uh, registration insurance just to make sure everything's current yes. um, but you can get that at the front office actually um, and you have a few uh, the first few weeks of school you have time to get all that uh, sorted out so yes. yeah what's another question um, um, let's see, what grad. kind of, oh, young grad, oh, okay, <laughs> young grad population, yes. um, if you are in two different programs, can you wear the same uniform? No, you may not, yes. because each program has a spe specific uniform mm -hmm. for their program. Uh, 
health students, yes, you all will be wearing scrubs, but they will all be different colors. Yeah. Okay, so you will do need new that two different uniforms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, there was another question about the um, practical nursing scrubs and what color they were. It's red top, black bottoms. Cool, cool. Very so cool. yes, and what was it? Someone was questioning like, oh, do I have to wear them every day? I yeah. don't want to wear scrubs. Um, you don't what have did you, to. What was your advice? Um, uh, girl, basically, work it. <laughs> yeah, work, work it, your scrubs. Put some earrings. Get that hair done. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And your teacher, if you don't have your scrubs mm -hmm. on your first day, that's okay. They'll mm -hmm. help you order them. They'll help you get all of that taken care of. But if you do have your scrubs and you want to wear it the first day, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to. But if you want to take advantage of the fact that you don't have to wear them the first day, you're more than welcome to wear your first yeah. killer day of school outfit. Yeah, yay. <laughs> Okay, another question was, what kind of credit do I earn? So for uh, high school students, you get a three elective credits for the two years. Yeah. I almost did the .75 thing uh, that was last time. Math. That was funny. But <laughs> three elective credits. Yeah. Human anatomy and um, physiology, you get one lab science credit. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some dual enrollments depending on the program. That's something you can check with your teacher the first couple of weeks. Don't worry yeah. too much. There will be time to sign up for those dual enrollment uh uh, programs or courses. Mm -hmm. um, also, veterinary assistant, I think, or yeah, veterinary yes. assistant, there was a question there, um, what other credits do I get? There's uh -huh. no other credits besides those three elective credits, okay? Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, and yeah. if you're worried about how to pay for your class fee or mm -hmm. your microphone and radio or your scrubs and nursing, you can just either call the number behind us or you can come to the main campus in Mesa mm -hmm. and you can pay for it there. We want to get that taken care of as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a deadline around the first week of school. We just want to get it taken care of so we can get you everything that you need. Mm -hmm. But you're going to want to, if you have the money now or if you need to do something, we just want it done as soon as you can. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Um, so we covered the fees um, and the scrubs. And yes. the, different um, the difference between high school, young grads, and adults. So let me yes. explain that. High school students, you are high school students. You attend yeah. a high school um, and you are obviously taking that great step to graduate high school and also have your even yeah. certificate of completion. So that's fantastic. And that is tuition free. There is a small class fee, but it's tuition free. Now, young grads, you are graduated um, from high school or you have your GED um, and, uh, sorry, and, um, you're graduated and you have your GED, but you can come here until the age of 22 cool. to uh, tuition free with high school students. And then our adult students, you you have to be graduated, have your GED, but you would come here and pay tuition. And there's not really any age requirements for that. You have to do get like a clearance card though and stuff. Yeah. Fingerprint clearance. Card. We've had adult Something students like in the radio mm -hmm. program, and it's so fun like to mm -hmm. see the difference in age and how much mm -hmm. we learn from them and they learn from us. And it was just such a cool yeah. opportunity to get yeah. to work with adult students. Yeah. I bet, I bet. Mm -hmm. um, another question was, if you haven't received your letter of acceptance, don't worry, call the 480-461-4000. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but 480-461-4000 is the number you would call to see if you are registered and ready to go for the first day on the third. Yeah. Yay. Um, what's another question? Let's see. I think we covered those ones. How old do you have? Oh, how old yeah. do you have to be to apply to the EVIT program? So this is kind of a, a long answer. Yes. Um, so for high school students, we usually have juniors and seniors. Sometimes there are sophomores, but that is um, if they are getting they're they're on track to graduate from their mm -hmm. high school. They also have to be um, sixteen years of age mm -hmm. and older. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, Alex. I need your, I need your <laughs> 60 comforting me. Um, there's also students, um, obviously, like I told you, our young grad program where you've graduated from high school, got your GED, but you're under the age of 22, you can come here tuition free. So that's like another age group. And then we have our adults, which there's no age limit. You just have to have your GED high school diploma um, and you have to pay tuition for the yeah. adults if you're, you know, over 22. Yes. So, yes, there's that. And then, is there still time to change from AM to PM? Yes, there, there is. Um, you would have to, as long as the class isn't full, um, you can change a pr uh, the AM to PM, as long as it's not full, you would have to check with Eva's registration mm -hmm. office. So you call that same number I said before, 480-461-4000. Yes. What else? 
Um, I don't know if you want to change your AM or PM. I hope it works out with your schedule. Be sure to check with your counselor that your classes at your home school, whether it be Hamilton, Basha, Perry, Gilbert, um, that those classes are also offered at the other time. Because if you want to take your even nursing and PM now, make sure that your classes are still offered at certain times in the AM because you don't want to mess up your home schedule too. Um, and if you ever were wondering, because something that I was wondering about mm -hmm. was carpool, because oh, yeah. I always got to English carpool. Yes. With people in my I'm class. Glad you remember this. Part. Yeah. So what we did um, is at your Hamilton, where I went in your English class. Your English class will be your last class of the day at your high school. And in your English class, it's called an EVIT English class because only EVIT students at your high school will be in that class. And you'll all be let out at a certain time, specifically you guys, like so that you can get to EVIT on time. And so in that English class, I kind of looked around and realized that. If we all go to the same school, we're probably all in the same district. And I kind of asked who wants to drive to Eva together, who's going to be driving their own car and not taking the bus. And that was super great. My teacher initiated that conversation. Or if you become really close to people in your program, you could find out if anyone in your program lives yeah. close to you. And I ended up driving to school every day with my co-host, oh, which was fun. fun. Yeah. Yes, that's fun. And that's and I think that's really cool because I know there's some of you that might be really nervous about coming mm -hmm. to EVIT, um, you know, first day jitters yeah. or what have you. But um, if you do find that English class and find some people that are the EVIT English class, yeah. you can make your friends there and maybe not be as nervous. Yeah, and um, the people in your program when you get to EVIT mm -hmm. have similar interests in you. And mm -hmm. that's a scary unknown when you're making new friends is are they gonna like you are they gonna like what you like and when you walk into even in your classroom just kind of know that there's so many like-minded people in yeah. there yeah that's what we were just discussing yeah. earlier is the fact that um we, you know when you have a connection like that mm -hmm. the same program yeah you like the same thing and so you really already works. have that connection already you know uh -huh. you're already there so but we want you guys to know that we have the hashtag ask Evit. If you have any more questions after watching this video or we left something unanswered, Evit will be tweeting you back and answering all your questions. Um, so again, use the hashtag ask Evit and we can answer any more questions you have. We're sorry that it wasn't live and we couldn't answer them for you in person right as you asked them, but we'll be happy to do that over Twitter. Yeah, that was beautifully yeah. done. Also, I wanted to mention, Allie might be coming back, maybe. Yeah, She's maybe. going off to school and leaving us, so um, you'll be hanging out with me and whoever our next guest Brittany. will be. Yeah. Brittany or Britt, whichever, whichever. Yeah. Um, but Allie probably will stop in every now and then, I'm sure. Yeah. So it'll always be like a different EVIT student mm -hmm. that gets fun, to know yeah. you and you guys get to know them and get to know their program yeah. and Brittany's going to take care of that. Yeah. She's an awesome host and she's yeah. doing so well. I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. I'm oh my stuck. gosh. So much fun. Well, yeah. yeah, that's about it. Tweet us if you have anything yes. else. Sweet. Thanks for watching. <laughs> In the description box, we'll talk Wait, about Wait, you know what? what? I think we have another guest. Hold on. I'm hearing oh. something. Oh, great. Oh, my goodness. And he went goodness. the other way. I thought I heard something. I thought Mr. Gross was going to say hello. <laughs> That's so funny. Mr. Gross is the radio broadcasting teacher. Mm -hmm. You'll hear him. He'll stomp his way around. You'll see me eating chicken. It'll be yeah. great. You'll know it's him. It'll be great. <laughs> yes. You'll know it's him. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, not live necessarily, yes. but in the future. Uh -huh. right? It would Definitely. be future for them or, or whatever. But thank you so much. And please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.